What's up guys, RGT85 here, and today on the channel, I wanna take a look at Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch. Now this game just released on March 29th, Friday, which is today, and I picked it up earlier this morning, and I planned on doing a full review of this game, but then I looked around the internet, and there were so many reviews out there already, and I thought to myself, you know, I guess I'm just not cool enough to get an early review copy. But I've been playing this game since picking it up late this morning, and there's some interesting things I want to talk about with this game. Because honestly, I'm a bit surprised by how much I'm actually enjoying this game. Right now, we can see that I am in the menu system, and basically, you can do different things in the menu system. There are different costumes that you can purchase by uh, buying them with coins that you acquire in the game, and they sort of give you a different sort of aesthetic, and they give you additional health as well. There is a scrapbook that shows you basically things you've collected throughout the game, such as movies you unlocked, and of course, music that you've unlocked. You can choose the color of your Yoshi. I went with a purple Yoshi because that's the one that kind of looks like RGT colors. You can adjust how many players you have. Of course, you can play with a friend with this game in local co-op. The play style if you want a casual experience or a standard experience. And then of course, Amiibo settings. Now, I've been playing this game, like I said, for a few hours now, and I've done some of the different levels. And one thing I really enjoy about this game so far is just the level variety. I'm gonna have some gameplay footage that I was recording of the game in some of the earlier levels that I've been playing, but there was just so much variety in terms of the levels that you encounter so early in the game. You know, like I've been saying, I've just been playing for about two hours or so now, and I'm just very impressed with the level variety that is offered in the game. Now, as far as the actual game is concerned, I mean, it is a bit on the easy side. I wouldn't say it's nearly as easy as something like Kirby Star Allies, which was my big worry going into this game because Kirby Star Allies just felt very sort of recycled like it wasn't a bad game but it was just there was nothing really unique about it there was nothing super special about it and the fact that it was so easy just really made the game sort of you know kind of a boring experience on the surface and when you dug deeper into the game but this game there is a bit more challenge i wouldn't say it's necessarily in the platforming but it's in acquiring all the different things within the levels such as all of the red coins and the little sunflowers that you get the sunflowers are important because in order to access more areas you have to have a certain number of sunflowers to give this little box creature in order for him to wake up. I don't really understand that. But yeah, I do enjoy the level variety. I do enjoy going back and replaying the levels because there is incentive. There's different side missions that you can do. And of course, you can play the levels backwards. But the main basis of the game is you're trying to collect these gems that uh, Kamek and Bowser Jr. have scattered throughout the world of Yoshi's Crafted World. So right now, we are approaching the first gem. So I just wanted to show you guys sort of how the game works, how the game plays and why I honestly recommend it because it honestly has a lot going for it. Like I said, it's just a really fun game in terms of the level variety, the level design, and what you do within the levels. It almost has like a bug on the Sega Saturn feel where you can walk back and forth. And of course you saw that in the demo of the game, but I feel like it's a bit more pronounced in the final product because you're doing a lot of navigating in these levels that has you sort of going back and forth between the levels, you know, into the background, in front of the background and things like that. And it's just very, it's very good. It's a mechanic that you don't really see in many games. And I always thought that was kind of weird because bug inherently wasn't a bad game so right now we have a boss battle going on obviously did one of those gems really wind up here i'm sure that's not how bowser jr talks but we'll just we'll just pretend that's how he talks uh-oh they've spotted me my purple yoshi I will say the graphics in the game are really nice. They sort of, you know, they have that cardboard aesthetic, that crafted aesthetic, but I like the things that are like real world items that are in the game. It kind of reminds me a bit of Chibi Robo and how, you know, Yoshi is obviously a small character in this big world and there are things that um, you are looking for. And as you're going throughout the levels, there are real world items that just feel sort of larger than life. So I really like that about the game. I think that's a really cool thing that they put in here and just sort of, it plays into the style of the game. Of course, this game is the first Unreal Engine 4 game that Nintendo has ever made. And you know, it's not like, you know, groundbreakingly graphical or anything like that in terms of how the game looks, but there is a lot of detail that goes on and the levels do feel very alive in this sort of, you know, crafted aesthetic. Oh, things are getting crazy here. What, what do we have going on here? 
Good music too. I do like the music of the game. Um, you know, it's it's very whimsical, much like the whole premise of the game is. You know, it's obviously not a you know a hardcore game. You know, I'm playing Sekiro right now as well, and you know that's obviously a lot more of a challenging game. But I do like you know I do like a lot of different things about this game. Bam, let's go, baby. So you can see we have a boss battle here. One of the things that they've incorporated into some of the levels that I've been playing is this magnet thing. And I like the magnet thing. It helps you with the platforming that you're doing um, to access different areas. So that's that's pretty cool. You know, it's an interesting mechanic and you can basically um, have multiple magnets as well. All right, let's avoid this. Float over there, float over there, float over there. Ah, uh, give me that magnet. Thank you. Oh, watch out. You know, like I said, it's not a necessarily difficult game, but getting full completion of the levels is where the difficulty sort of comes into play. And I like that, you know, it's sort of like if you want the game to be more difficult, if you want the game to give you a bit more challenge, go back and try to get all the items within the level, get all the, oh crap, get all of the, um, uh, sunflowers within the level get all the red coins within the level and there is incentive to do that because you can purchase more costumes and you know make your Yoshi look cool if you want them to I'm fine with a standard with the standard Yoshi um, I don't really need the additional uh, health items but you know for younger gamers I could see them potentially needing that you know it, it, it's not so oh goodness it's not mandatory or anything but you know it's good to have options Gotcha. Bam. The good old three hit system. That's been around forever, the three hit system. Like, especially in 2D Mario games. You know, it's like they just never change it. They were like, let's just do, you need three hits and then you're good to go. And they just stuck with it. So, you know, that's, that's fine. It gives you, you know, sort of a groundwork to what you're going to be doing. I am a tough cookie. Thank you very much. Look at me in my very masculine purple Yoshi. The toughest of cookies. So there are six gems to acquire, and now we have our first gem, so that's pretty cool. And it basically goes, I believe it's going to go into this star piece thing where the gems were initially housed and then thrown into the world by these terrible, terrible monsters known as Kamek and, of course, Bowser Jr. I like how that Yoshi just appears out of nowhere. Can't help me in the levels, but you know, when the gems appear, you know, you can just pop up out of nowhere. Oh, excuse me, there's only five gems. Only five gems. But you can see we have our first gem now. And that's pretty much the basis and the story of the game. It's a it's a Yoshi game, you know, it's a it's a Mario game. You're not gonna get some deep ass narrative with lots of plot twists and stuff like that. It's just, it is what it is. It just gives you, it just gives you a basic reason to keep playing the game. Let's check out one more level though. Um, it's one of those games where you're like, I'm just gonna play it for a few minutes and then you end up, you know, playing it a bit longer, it seems. Yes, I'm gathering gems. Get out of my way, you weird ass Santa Claus looking thing. All right. So now we know where to go for the gems. I will sort it out. Get out of my way. But it's strange. <laughs> a strange dude. Like, this is weird. So I like that. You could sort of open up the level there. You could go in your own different paths. So that's pretty cool. Not really a linear experience. You can choose to which level you want to go to, but let's check out this level. But yeah, honestly, it's a good game. You know, it plays really well. The The platforming itself is is flawless. Like, uh, Yoshi himself moves, or themselves. Uh, yeah, Yoshi's kind of androgynous, aren't they? Um, but Yoshi moves really well. You've got your butt stomp. You've got your crawl or your duck. And, you know, everything just feels very fluid. It feels very responsive. The graphics themselves, you know, they're, they're very nice. Um, they're very unique, and you know, there's not many games that really look like this. And I like the whole aesthetic of, you know, throwing things to and from in the level. Like, there's a little thing there. Now we got one of the flowers, so there are seven different flowers within this level and then of course you can get additional flowers 
by completing a level under certain circumstances, getting all the coins, uh, having a full life meter, etc., etc. But there's just, you know, it's it's a fun game. It's a very solid game. It's definitely, to me, much more enjoyable than Kirby Star Allies was. There's a lot more level variety. It's not just, you know, the same sort of thing over and over again. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. This game is the most... Is, is Yoshi's Crafted World the Dark Souls of Yoshi's games? I feel like someone may may make that, that point. Even though it's it's clearly not shit, but that's one thing you notice. You know when you um when you fall into an area. I was trying to get that thing. We're just gonna leave it be. Um, when you fall into an area, you don't instantly die. But here's sort of that you know bug mechanic where you're going back and forth within the level. So I, I do like that about the levels. It definitely you know it's got a unique feel to it because that that bug mechanic just it never it never caught on. And in order to hit these things, you, um, of course, have to eat the paratrooper guys, throw them, and you can throw them pretty much in any direction. And there's something like that. I wouldn't have thought to have thrown one of the dudes at that, you know, house in the background, but, you know, there's little intricacies there that just sort of make the game feel very unique. And I like that about the game. I like that mechanic. I think it's a, it's a very solid mechanic. I don't know if that was in Wooly World, because honestly, spoiler alert, I never played Wooly World. I was just tired of 2D platformers at that time, and I don't know, I just had no interest in that game at the time. I probably should go back and revisit it, since I'm enjoying this one as much as I am. Whatever. I'll come back and play through this level. I just want to show you guys some of the basic level design, show you guys the platforming, and show you guys, you know, I think a lot of people will be interested in this game. It offers a bit more challenge than Kirby. You know, there's incentive to go back and play through the levels to collect everything, and that's sort of where the challenge is um, as far as, you know, making the game more difficult. I like these little segments too. Of course, there are those segments where you can go, um, where you can play the levels backwards or whatever. Um, but they have these little segments here. Ooh, he was a multiple hit guy. They have these little segments here that sort of hide some of the um, the flowers that you get. And you know, that, that's, that's cool. Like it's a good level variety. It keeps things flowing along and it keeps you sort of on your toes a bit as well. Get some health. You know, I think we are approaching the end of the level. But like, see, that, that's good platforming design. Nice, smooth, fun, f not very floaty. Ah! That's a little bit tricky. Not bad, not bad. All right, and then when you defeat a level, it'll basically show you how you did in that level. Obviously, I wasn't trying to get every single thing within the level. I was just sort of giving you guys the impressions of how the levels play out. Um, you'll see here in just a moment, you have um, your base goal is to get about 100 coins. We managed to do that, so we get a flower for that. You want to get your full health out of 20. We didn't do that. And 20 red coins. We did not do that either. So there's a ways to get more of the flower heads within the levels. So, you know, it gives, like I said, it gives you a reason to go back to get all of them because you might need them to progress later in the stages of the game where you get to one of those areas where it's like a roadblock and you have to use more of the things. I will show you guys a little costumes here as well. And then we will end this video. So you basically put in um, different coins into you put in a set number of coins into this little slot machine here. Let's do two different coins. We'll get two costumes. We got two reds. I believe reds are considered rare. So we got two rare costumes here. I haven't been doing many costumes. I just got like one costume at the start. We got a pink flower bed. That's very stylish. And a purple flower bed. And then you can, of course, put Kurt, or Yoshi Kirby. You can put Yoshi in him, so yeah, there you go. You know, if you wanna walk around in a little purple flower bed, be my guest. I got the cow one. I thought the cow looked kinda cool. But yeah, this is a look at Yoshi's Crafted World. Like I said, I was gonna do a full review on this, but there are so many reviews out there that, you know, just by the time I finished the game and did all the recording and all that stuff, no one would really care. I'm not cool enough to get an early copy, but I definitely suggest you guys pick this game up if you enjoy 2D platformers that are very, you know, 
stylish and unique and you sort of like the gameplay that you saw because I've been really enjoying this game and I think I will continue to enjoy this game. So let me know in the comments section down below if you've already picked up Yoshi's Crafted World or if you plan on picking up the game. And as always, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel and as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.